Hey guys, so <clears throat> in part one, I basically show you guys how I configured the MDT 2012 uh, server to capture multiple partitions. And in part one, I actually left you guys on the process of it capturing. And as you can see, it looks like it captured the C drive and it captured that D drive, that task sequence that I created in part one with you guys. Actually, I didn't really create it with, I didn't create it with you guys, but I actually showed you what I actually did, which was right here. Okay, cool. And uh, it looks like it captured successfully. I'm gonna hit finish. I'm gonna let the reference machine reboot itself. And uh, it looks like it, it captured it. It looks like everything is working the way it's supposed to work. And uh, I'm probably going to show you guys how to import the custom WIM image. And believe it or not, you don't have to import your second partition WIM image into MDT. It's, it's, it's a trick that I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And, but I'm going to leave it for part three. Uh, the only reason that I'm splitting it up because um, it's a long process. And I, I, most likely I want to start the the re-imaging process with the new custom image and it's going to be another part four of video and the part four video is going to be the final uh, piece of it so right now um, that's about it uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and do check out part three and part four of this series uh, again I'm trying to keep it short and simple so you guys don't lose interest on this and uh, hopefully I catch you guys later. Thanks.